Okay, welcome to this Love Southern short film series. And today I'm gonna be talking to you about how I store my hitch and the improvements that I've made since my old hitch storage system. So if you check out this video up above, you'll see that my old storage system was kind of this big wooden box that I built myself and it was custom designed for my Reese hitch, which I now have an equalizer four point sway. And not only that, but it also had, um, it was designed for the old truck. And so fitting it in, sliding it out, it was heavy. So I really needed something different. And that's what we're gonna show you about this week. And here it is. You see here, this is a $9.47 box bought from Home Depot. It's plastic, so it slides in and out super it's heavy, good. It's heavy duty though, right? It's a heavy duty box. And we'll show you a little bit about what's inside, but it's got these sweet little notches cut out. And I've taken some non-skid, glued the non-skid to the little notches. My two stabilizer uh, weight distribution bars will sit on top in those notches. And then I've got these little bungee cords so that they won't slide off, kind of slide off or fall off. So that's the way it sits when it travels. And now I'll show you what's inside. All right, let's take a look at what's inside the box here. First of all, of course, I keep my hitch right inside like that. And you can see the handle. If you're wondering about the handle, this is just a uh, a muffler um, hanger that I bought at a local parts, auto parts store. I whipped up some rope around it to make it easier to hold. And then it fits right through one of those holes. So anyway, the hitch goes into the box. And as you can see, if you look down at the box, I've re put a piece of wood in the bottom of the box and that's to evenly distribute the weight of the hitch against the plastic of the box so that um, it won't break. All right, we've got some other tools that go in here. We've got our lubricant that we grease our hitch ball with as well as some of the lubricating points on the uh, hitch. I've got my um, lug nut turny thingy, what do you <laughs> call this thing? My lug nut wrench. And I've marked the one that has the Airstream's lug nuts. I have my torque, I have my torque wrench in here so that I can um, torque the lug nuts on my wheels. Usually I do that once a month. And then I use this just to check the tightness before each trip. Got my hitch wrench as well as a few other wrenches that I use to make sure that the bolts and everything on my hitch are tight before towing. Now, a lot of you may ask, why don't you just leave it outside or leave it on the, uh, do something else? Why do you have to put it in this box? Well, the way I consider it is the worst thing you can do with grease, anything that's grease, like a hitch ball or anything, is to get some dirt into it because now you've captured that dirt in the grease and you actually have an active abrasive force that's even worse almost than having no grease whatsoever so i make sure that my hitch is kept in the box with the weight distribution bar so that everything is kept out of the weather and it is good to go so this is kind of my uh new system we're always trying to make things better here at love subbing and i'm pretty stinking happy with this as it is so if you like this love subbing short give us a big thumbs up click the subscribe if you haven't already done so and leave a comment as to how you store your hitches and if there's anything that you think is good or bad or could be improved about in this. We learn all the time. We come out with RV and Airstream related videos every Tuesday and an occasional love sub and short. So thanks for watching.